Today I want to talk about rabbit holes and what to do if you come across one. So what a rabbit hole is, is basically a board that you cannot immediately solve that may be solvable at one point in time. How you handle a rabbit hole is going to be different if you're just starting out or an established business. So when you're just starting out and don't have many customers, every board is going to be extremely important to solve and spend a lot of your time on because if you don't solve it, and especially if it's one of your first wholesale customers, they're not going to use you again. If it's your first time doing it for a wholesale business and you're not able to fix the first board they send you, you they are probably not going to use you again. So rabbit holes may take time to solve, but some of them will be solvable and some of them won't. For example, I had a board last week that took me nearly two weeks to fix. It, it was kept blowing the uh, MOSFETs of the main 12 volt rail and I eventually figured out what was causing that but that was not the end of it. It had more issues. Um, it had SMC issues, it had issues on the one wire circuit, it had tons of issues. So if you're just starting out and you come across a rabbit hole you need to spend a lot of time diagnosing it. For example, most boards that come into my shop are have no water damage, they're just random failures. So what may be considered a rabbit hole in Another shop may just be a regular board for me because regular boards that come in have no signs of physical damage when a water, water damage board will have signs of physical damage. Faced with water damage boards, they kind of give you an idea of where the problem areas might be. And not like some stuff that comes in here, I have no idea where the problem is and you have to spend time with it. So like I said before, that board took me nearly two weeks to solve. And usually I could have a board solved in about an hour and know what's wrong with it. In this case it took a lot of time to solve. So if you're just starting out, especially for a wholesale business, you need to put a lot of your time on it. The, I kept at this board not because I wanted the money but because I wanted to know why it wasn't turning on, why it kept blowing the MOSFETs and why or what happened to it. Since I had no water damage it was just a random failure. It could have been from a bad charger, could have been from who knows. So when you're established business and have, you know, if a company, especially if someone is sending you a lot of boards, if another business is sending you a lot of boards to fix, and you're not able to fix a board, you know, one once in a while, that's fine. But if you get, especially your first few boards from that company, if you're not able to produce consistent results, they're probably not going to use you again. So it's okay to spend enough time on boards. You know, if it takes three weeks, it takes three weeks. If it takes two weeks, it takes two weeks as long as you could eventually solve it. So if you're an established business it's going to be different because it's an established business you're probably going to come across less rabbit holes than someone that's less experienced because a lot of times the board isn't really a rabbit hole it's just the person that's fixing them doesn't have enough experience to pin down the fall. So like I said if you're just starting out it is okay to spend a lot of time on rabbit holes but just if you're an established business in that two weeks you, you're on that board you could be fixing a hundred boards during that time so if you get a rabbit hole and you have you know hundreds of customers it's okay to move on from it but like I said starting out it is important to fix spend a lot of time diagnosing boards even when you think they can't be fixed because oftentimes they can be fixed it just requires some time Thank you for watching and I hope uh, this whole video will help you somewhat.